how does a company like Google pro ensure that it provides the service that it offers while innovating? Because, you, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's right, isn't it? I mean, you guys are innovating, coming up with innovative ideas, putting them into practice all the time. How do you keep the company working? Uh, it's a great question, and it's, it's actually... You know, some people say it's like changing the wheel on a, on a car that's actually driving. It's a little bit tricky, but it actually makes uh, uh, the problem easier. So we're growing quickly, and by rolling out new efficiency improvements all the time, we make the problem smaller, right? And so we actually make the growth smaller, and that helps dealing with the growth. So, so these things actually go hand in hand, and they help each other. And the only thing you need to know is that you don't have, you know, three years to test something out because you know, in the three years, you, you're growing and, and you're forgoing the opportunity. So it's sort of a launch and iterate kind of thing. If you have something that you know is likely to work, you just deploy it somewhere in production and you see how well it works and then you try to roll it as quickly into, into your entire fleet and you think about the next thing. And so you don't think of things in terms of big launches, you think of things in continuous improvement. So for example, on our, our data centers, we um, started publishing our efficiency. Uh, and as efficiency, you can think of the overhead in a data center, right? Like here's a server and how much, what percentage overhead you have on top of that to do the cooling and the lighting and everything. When we started that uh, publishing ad in 2008, we were at 23% overhead. And now we're at 16%, you know, two and a half years later, there was no magic technology. It was just tuning, tuning, tuning. And the sad thing is that the industry overall is more at like 80% or 100% overhead, so it's actually much, much worse. And none of the things we're doing is, is revolutionary, revolutionary technology, right? It's really just applying things that, that are known to work and, and, and really focusing on it.